When I love something, I buy 55 of it. Swimsuits. I'm Canadian. I live in a country that's winter eight months out of the year. A phone call and then I have to deal with some things, but don't you worry, today is a day full of errands. As per usual, I'll only show you the interesting stuff, but I hope you enjoyed the last month long vlog. I'm not sure if this is gonna be the beginning of another month long vlog, even though it's the end of June, or maybe it'll be another weekly vlog, like what you guys are used to. I'm just debating still, so. Either way, by the time you see this, there's been a decision whether it's a weekly vlog or you see this a month from now. But I hope that you guys are all doing well. I thought I picked up something, but I clearly didn't. <laughs> Oh, such is life. Do you want to know what the theme of this week is going to be? Cleaning stuff out to make space for the right things. Not for more, because we're not about clutter here. But I mean that literally and figuratively. You'll see as we go through the week. We're going to try to get back into this weekly thing. I'm already failing because I was supposed to check in with you guys Sunday and it's already Tuesday, which is why I got the yoga lined up because that's what we do Tuesday mornings. I woke up this morning craving roti, like talk about skipping breakfast. So I might go on an epic quest to go find some roti because the place I usually go to, my mom said don't go to anymore. So X nay on that one. But uh, we're gonna have some fun this week. I wanna start vlogging yesterday and I did the intro and I was like, but wait, I'm not doing anything interesting today. And then when I went to go run errands, I don't know, if you're a vlogger, you'll totally understand. If you're not, you might not. But sometimes I go and do things and I don't wanna take out my camera. I just feel like this isn't the moment. It's not what it's showing you. So, anywho, I'm gonna make a conscious effort of capturing my life to share with you what it's like to live life with the line today and for the next several days and try to get back on track with this weekly vlog. If you've seen my face before, you know I've been taking a break from this life because it's a lot. Editing videos while being visually impaired. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, anywho, this is me trying to get back in the routine. If this ends up being a two-week video, you know what happens. <laughs> Oh, I know where that is. That is a mission. I just got a lot of things on the go. As per usual, what's new? Hey, you know I love me some coconut water, but the thing is I have to finish this real fast because it gets bad in the bottle quick. I think it's because the bottle's stored in the door instead of at the back. Maybe I should shift that today. I might just have to actually, now that I think about it. When I leave, I need to go to the dollar store and buy a new pair of these. I've had them for months, which is good because usually they just last a month. But the stupid thumb part, I guess because my nail has been breaking a lot, it broke in the nail and then it broke through the glove. I was talking and then it shut off. I have no idea what time it shut off. So we're just going to continue where it was. This should be done by now. You know what I think? I did not add enough water to this, but... Yeah, see, that's like no coffee. Milk? So stubborn. You can clearly tell I'm obsessed with the glass aesthetic, which is why I always transport or transfer, I don't know, my liquids to these glass bottles. Oh, wait. Hola, 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 hola. The thing about pineapple juice, all the sediment stays at the bottom. I'm telling you, it makes it look so much better in your fridge. It's the little things that make me happy, you know? It does smell good. It wouldn't be me if I didn't make a mess, right? Sorry the quality's bad. I'm back to my phone. Sorry, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze as soon as I hit record. <laughs> Excuse me. So 
sorry about that. So you saw I went to Dollarama. I got some new gloves because the hole I told you about earlier. And I have not used one of these in a million years but let's see if it can help here because i do a lot of tiktok footage here i don't know what happened i don't know how i don't even care why all i know is i want to get rid of it so let's give it what if i i didn't even think about it they painted the walls beige what if this takes off and makes it white no it won't happen right oh wait which side is it is it supposed to be this side yo i don't know i'm gonna assume so Oh, now there's the print of the zigzag on my wall. Oh my goodness. I think I'm making more of that. I need to start designating my meal times away from my work times. We need to get into that. But anyway, good morning. It's Wednesday. And I'm sorry, I was supposed to vlog more for you guys yesterday. <laughs> this vlog is off to such a bad start, two days late and half a day gone. But I saw a long lost friend, like a friend that I haven't hung out with in what, over a year? He was actually the friend that helped me the most in the latter part of my relationship with my dad. So it was good to reconnect. And let me put on my glasses because I'm going to be staring at the screen all day today. As you can tell, it's a gloomy one and I got the pandemic uniform on. Sweatpants and a crop top. You know, it's so crazy to me how much the pandemic changed life as we knew it. Initially, you would not catch me outside or inside with sweatpants. I was one of those girls. I literally had one pair of sweatpants and I went from one uno pair of sweatpants for almost a decade to over eight pairs in a couple of months. But I mean, that's what shopaholics do, right? So, yeah, and I still don't have a black pair. Tell me if I have three shades of brown. You can tell I love nude, and my nude is brown. So I wish I got the Meshki black ones when they still have them because they're the best quality. These ones from Misguided, zero out of 10 do not recommend. Do you see the pilling? This is not from having them from the beginning of the pandemic. This is from one wash, okay? So all the money plus the duties to take, mm -mm, not worth it. Anyway, so on the roster today is a lot of editing. I wanted to film, especially since yesterday. I don't know if I mentioned this to you guys, but the construction. And I also had an issue with the last video I uploaded, so I had to re-engineer it because I didn't want to have to re-upload it again and then lose all the comments because people were commenting on it. It was so stressful. Copyright claims get me ever so often. But I wanted to film two videos yesterday. The construction was happening, so I wasn't able to. So it worked out well that my friend was able to stop by and chill for a bit because I couldn't have been productive anyway with it. And now, today is a day of catching up with the background work. And then I had a meeting earlier today. It's gonna be postponed to the end of the day. And that's it, that's all you need to know. Let me know if you like these talking bits, because I know some people like when I'm like in the kitchen oversharing, <laughs> and some people are like, no, show me Ash. So let me know. You can see it's later on in the day. How is, no, I'm not gonna ask that question, because we already know this year has been flying by, so the day is no surprise. But I spent the last two hours, thank God the person I was working with was gracious, because she's a new mom, so she ain't got time to spare like that. But she really helped me get through what I needed to. I've been taking a little break. I don't know if you can hear all of that bubbling in the background. I would show you, but stir fry is ugly. I know a lot of you guys said in my way past vlogs that my stir fries look good. They taste good too. But since I've showed you it so many times, there's no point in running through. So I'm having a really late dinner, later than your girl should have. But thank God I got my dad's fast metabolism for that. And I'm gonna call it a night. I went to bed at 10 p.m. last night. I was so proud. This is how you know I'm getting old. Like that's the thing to be proud about. But yeah, today's been an extremely draining day. You don't even wanna know. All I do know is tomorrow's gonna be a better day because I will it too. So see you in the AM.
need this pedicure to last until next weekend. My friend's wedding. I usually get one petty a month and I used to do my manicures every two weeks. They never made it to three weeks. No matter how much I tried, the week of the third week, they would break, they would ship. I'm like, shalap, what is this? So I just stopped doing it for a minute because my nails got so weak, they were thinner than paper. Anyway, that magic eraser didn't really do much and it looks like it took off some of the paint off the wall. Oh yes, I forgot to take this yesterday. I didn't vlog yesterday just because I wasn't in the mood. I gotta scalp to be with you guys. It wasn't like anything bad happened. It was just a lot of nonsense and energetically I just wasn't there and that's not what these vlogs are about. So I'm back, but it's an overcast day, which sucks because I need to film today. I want to make a video I've been meaning to make for months and I'm not going to tell you what it is. I was going to say, if you see me wearing this shirt, you know which day it was, but I'm probably going to change this because I'm not really feeling this outfit. My outfits are affected so much by my mood. I need to swallow this calcium and the weather and seeing as it looks like it's going to rain, it isn't until one and it's not even 10 o'clock yet, but I want to be prepared because I'm going out for lunch today. I've been craving roti for two weeks at least. Oh, I can actually put this away now. Can you be like... <sighs> I never thought I'd see the day when two fifty for an avocado was a sale. These are now $3 in Toronto. Isn't that insane in the membrane? I'm actually going to put one in the fridge because... No, I'm actually going to put two in the fridge because... I cut one in half and put it in water, that hack I showed you guys a couple months ago, and then I forgot it, and it was all black, and I was so mad, because that's like dollars every five. Okay, which one's ready to ripen? This one? And this one will go in the fridge, too. So, what are we going to do? I got almond milk on sale, which the sale nowadays isn't real sale anymore, because back in the day, almond milk on sale was two fifty or $3. Sale nowadays is $4.00 for, I don't even know what the carton size is. And I was talking to my cousin yesterday and she was saying gallon. I'm like, girl, we don't go buy gallons over here. Americans, I tell you, they'll tell me things in Fahrenheit and gallons. And I'm just like, no, I don't know. And I have to Google it to figure it out. It's never the other way around. As much as I love my American people and my family, I've noticed that they speak in their language, i.e. their measurements, but they never think, let me just, translate to whatever like for example my friend who lives in sweden i feel like this is such a random tangent he always goes by my time so when we have our skype conversations i know who uses skype still but when we have our skype conversations he's always like 7 p.m toronto time which is like what see i don't even know i'm a fraudulent person i think that's 1 1 a.m or 1 p.m six hours difference i know it's six hours but i can't remember if it's ahead or behind so i'm bad i'm the criminal in this one and then my cousin in Antigua, she always does the measurement changes too, although she's imperial as well, so I think most of our measurements are the same, but they don't have daylight savings time in Antigua. Long story short, they don't. I can't even explain it right now. But she'll remember when the clock switches for us, and she knows all of the Canadian holidays. I only know one, no, two Antiguan holidays, the Independence Day, and there was another one that just happened last month. What's the name of it? It starts with a W. Antiguan? Come on, come on, come on. If you're Antiguan watching this, help your girl know. She just told me. Damn it. I'm going to put it on the screen because I know I'm going to forget it. I know I'm not going to remember it until I'm editing. But anywho, we're going to make some tea. I was thinking about coffee and I was like, no. I'm trying to wean myself off of that ish. Even though coffee is so good. It's, it's, it's a crime. So... I gotta pick up my alterations, go out for lunch, edit. Maybe if it doesn't rain as bad as it says it's going to, film. And that's it for my Friday. I have no plans tonight. I have two sets of plans tomorrow, but I think one is gonna fall through. And watch, with my luck, I'll actually have nothing to do. All my plans will fall through. And it's Canada Day today. I don't know if tonight or tomorrow's gonna be the fireworks, but either way, this is the holiday weekend. It doesn't feel like a holiday. How are you in July? How? I need to know. Where's time going? Why am I not a millionaire yet? <laughs> 
It's so crazy. I feel like my birthday was just yesterday. I feel like New Year's was just yesterday. Anyway, do I want to crepe today? How do you say you like the Kitchen Chronicles the most when I'm just talking about my insecurities or my thoughts or my childhood? I should just do videos where I talk to you guys instead of do a whole weekly vlog or monthly vlog, which is way more editing. But if you like it, I love it. I'll keep them coming. I do it for you. Oh my gosh, so. I was talking to you guys in the last vlog about the Marion versus Mario. Are you kidding me? And I put apple cider vinegar on them to slow them down. Oh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. There's still a lot of good ones. Anyways, as I was saying, a Marion versus Mario was a mess. One in the watermelon. I talked to you guys about it for a good five minutes in the last vlog, but my head was cut off. Wait, is my head cut off now? I don't think so. Don't mind. I didn't even bother putting on makeup today. It's okay. All I usually do is eyeliner, mascara, and a little brow pencil anyway. So uh, enough rambling for me. We go and get this crepe looking schmexy. And I will see you guys a little later. How much of what it could be true and what more is there to the story because there's always more. What is the difference um, people in your life that's important too? So it took me a long time to get here. Yeah. Child of God right there. Yeah. It's not open. I don't think she's even opening at all today because the lights aren't on. So you think because it's a holiday or something? Yeah, probably. What up? Recording? It's recording. Yeah, it's recording. Oh my, that guy's looking at you. <laughs> he probably thinks you're the vlogger. He's looking at me? The one that was walking away, he like doubled back and looked at you with the camera. I am the vlogger. I don't think you know what you're doing. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> hey loves, I'm here with your favorite cameo. And obviously we're not at the roti spot, but let's hope, fingers crossed, that the food is as good here as it was supposed to be where we were supposed to go. Not me trying to pick up my dry cleaning forgetting it's a holiday. They need a day off too. The reason why I forget these things, oh yeah, outfit change. <laughs> the reason why I forget things, and of course, nachos are not roti, but hey, we try to go to two different places, and if I know anything about my people is we take our holidays seriously. I went to my store and I forgot. So many tangents. Not enough time. Oh yeah, I went to go pick up the bridesmaid's dress that I got hemmed, but it wasn't... Who's texting me? Oh, my friend. The thing about texting is I got a text, and then... I'm not going to do that right now because there's so many typos in that. Oh, I can't believe two years ago I could actually see my phone to text without a typo. Anyway, can't do that. Um, yeah, it's a holiday. It's because when I used to work at the restaurant, I would have to work holidays. So I forget that normal people get holidays off. Silly me. Anywho, I'm going to put on sweatpants because, you know, that's my uniform and I'm freezing. It's nice outside. We sat on the patio, but I don't know. If the sun's not out and it's not beaming and it's not sweaty vibes, I'm not hot. Okay, I won't wash my hands. If I'm this close, I still can't see me. Okay, now I can. That's crazy. I'm taking in how much I can no longer see. Because I can't see the viewfinder at all. It disappeared. Anyway, I got this a couple days ago. With everything going on, I wasn't able to open it to show you guys. And I know you like my little Ritzia hauls. This is actually the same thing that got exchanged thanks to the concierge at Ritzia. In this bodysuit from Ritzia, I might just switch this too since it's not a snap of a bodysuit. And if you've worn a bodysuit where you have to take the whole thing off, you know it's very annoying. I'm not trying to do that in my own house. So I might just put on a t shirt. But first, another bodysuit, another one. And they included a return slip this time in case. Because you saw the color in the last one, I liked it, but it wasn't what I thought it was supposed to be. And I wanted something that was going to go with my neutral shaded sweatpants. I was like, leggings? No, sweatpants. And this is, you know, not a bad color. Hold on. Now I can show you what I wanted to show you last time. Da -da -da. So from Babaton, which is an Aritzia brand. This is the long sleeve version, but of course, this is dark sand brown. This one is 
shucks, I forgot what this is color, what color this is. For reference, I'll put it somewhere in this video in case you guys are interested. It's a really pretty color. I forgot what it's called though. So I just wanted a color that was more flattering on my skin because the one I showed you in last week's vlog, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. when I put it next to the denim I want to wear this with, it just wasn't giving what it was supposed to. So I like this shade of brown, although to be honest, even when I was with the concierge on the phone trying to figure out which one to exchange it for because they don't usually take back bodysuits, but he was kind enough to make an exception for me. It's because of hygiene reasons, but I didn't try on the other one. It's just, I opened it, I was like, I like the color, but, and then I put it against the denim, and I'm like, nah. So luckily, he made the exchange for me. But um, I wanted something lighter than this color, this camel, caramel color. Because I wanted something that was more summer ready on days that are cold, like it's been this week. So it's ironic that this came on a day that was super hot and I didn't open the package because I was busy. I'm opening it today. It's still a hot day, but like I said, I was cold when I came in. I might have actually worn this to lunch if I remembered that I had it. <laughs> I just threw the package in the closet because I was so busy and I was going through my stuff today, figuring out what I wanted to wear. And I'm like, why is there a package here? Oh, from Tuesday. Now it's Friday. So yeah. I got this from the same Aritzia sale that I did a haul for before. See what I'm saying? I wanted something that would go with these sweats, but this is a little bit dark. I wanted something closer to this color, but it's sold out because this one is too yellow. But it's not the end of the world. Cause I'm a beautiful red, a colorful mess, but I'm funny. Oh, I'm a heartbreak man, with a song called Neck and Tommy. All the pretty girls in the world, I'm in a space with you. Calling the lines, I get to find my fire will stay with you. Heart it will stay with you, and I get to stay with you. Oh, I'm a little late, but I guess because of the bleeding. Yeah, it should be. And it says Tuesday, 5.30. It should be last Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, not Saturday. Yeah. Yeah, it was a slow week. That's it. Uh, probably... Thank you. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I was at the gym this morning, then I went to go run a few errands that I showed you. I got my favorite croissants from Farmward. They are so good. They are a guilty pleasure. I told myself in June, if you watch those vlogs, I wasn't supposed to have any sweets. That didn't happen. And it's clearly not happening this month either. Although I was better. I will admit, I used to have chocolate every single day, which is a bit overboard, eh? I got some bok choy. I was craving. When I was younger and growing up, when I was younger and growing up, that's the same thing. You already know what I'm trying to say. When I was little, my hair grandma used to always make me bok choy, so. Some fish. I was supposed to go out with my uncle and cousin today, but scheduling difficulties. Card for my friend's wedding next week. Ugh. Someone's calling me? Oh, I thought that was the sound of the phone. Oh, it is my phone. And they hung up. Let me call him back. Clearly there's a conflict going on here. Behind my smoothie is one of them French toast croissants. I'm obsessed with these and I should also put it on a plate. Why am I so lazy? This is real life, okay? Don't judge me. I know you've done this before. You just have something in your hand, you're snacking on it, but I figured I'll just talk to you guys real quick because my dress got hemmed and I want to show you it. First of all, they couldn't even knot it back so it wasn't dragging on the floor because I didn't give it to them like this, okay? Isn't this bridesmaid's dress so beautiful? You know I'm all about a gold moment, so Genevieve chose well. I can't believe in exactly a week she's going to be married. Like, what is life? And this is also two years in the making, thanks to the panorama, because she was supposed to be married in 2020. But good things come to those who wait. I'm so excited to spend this moment with her. I've never been a bridesmaid before which is kind of funny because I've had quite a few friends who've gotten married, but I guess I've never been close enough to them. So this is a very momentous occasion. And I love, I don't know, I just love sharing these kind of moments. I've actually only been to four weddings in my whole entire life. Two family members and two friends, that's it. I've been, actually I lied. I went to two more with one of my ex-boyfriends, his friends, I didn't know anybody, which 
to be honest, I would never ever do again unless I'm married to the person. I am not going somewhere where I know absolutely no one. And I actually did know someone who went to university with me. She's like, how do you know the bride and groom? I'm like, I don't, I'm here with my man. But yeah, I wouldn't do that again. I just feel like as big as weddings can be, and this one's gonna be big, there's something intimate about it and I don't really wanna, just to be real, I don't care. So I don't wanna be there if I don't know the couple. That's just me. That's just me, but we'll see. Cause I've said a lot of things in my life and life shows us otherwise. I stop eating those croissants though, because this dress fits just right. And if I know anything about carbs and champagne, I don't want to feel the pain I felt the last time I went to a wedding. My hint to all you ladies is when you're looking for a dress, whether you're fitting for bridesmaids or you're a guest, get a dress that's a little loose. Cause I'm telling you, the CC will get you. And you don't want to feel bloated, blowing up like a balloon when you're supposed to be enjoying yourself and having fun with the festivities. It's happened to me, it's not a good feeling. You know what, I finished Editing this video, it was supposed to be up a day ago, but what's new? The fridge turned on, which if you guys know, the fridge is in the background of this video and it annoys me so much when you can hear the little background white noise. And I was like, I'm gonna film my next video. I don't really wanna talk about what I wanna talk about, which I already told you about, guys. We'll get into it. I make, I'll make the video even though, I'll do two, I'll do a Patreon one where I can be a little more personal about things, but Okay, I'm just rendering it and then it's good to go. So make sure there's no kale in my teeth because I'm still working on that smoothie from this morning, which sucks because I need to take my doxycycline for my acne, but you can't, there's a contraindication with dairy and I put yogurt in the smoothie to get my little calcium intake up. Why is my computer freezing? Can you, okay, boom. I'm gonna do even though the sun is not really out the way I want it to I'm tired I'm tired of making excuses it is July 2nd you know luckily I live in a bachelor so my rent could be way crazier than it is but if you guys only knew how much it costs to live here the eye looking emoji that's what you would give me so Part of what I pay for to live here is the gym, the pool, the fancy luxury laundry room. I'm gonna go to the pool. I might not swim, because I'm not trying to do my hair again, but enough is enough, let's go. So, I need to pick a swimsuit that I feel confident wearing with my gut. Remember the last time I told you guys that I'm super obsessed with things, when I love something, I buy 55 of it? Swimsuits. I'm Canadian. I live in a country that's winter eight months out of the year. You can tell. You know how like the, mer the little mermaid wanted to live on land and then the mermaid two and the daughter wanted to go back to the water? That's like me and my mom. She came here. I don't know if she wanted to come here. She came here when she was a kid. And I wish I grew up there because hey, warm weather any day over the blizzards we have in January. But I'm going to wear this swimsuit, which I haven't even worn at the bottom yet. Luckily I ordered this online, so I know it's clean, because it came direct from the factory. Because you know how I feel working in retail, I don't trust nobody. When things are in the store, no, 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 no. So, I'll wear my new swimsuit. I also got this one, which I want to wear more like a bodysuit. Clearly I haven't worn it yet. So anyways, I'm just gonna go down there for like half an hour, an hour. And I'll come up and get ready because I'm going to dinner tonight. <laughs> oh, let me tell you, this perfume will always stand to be the perfect date night fragrance. I bought six perfumes since this one and I don't even know why. I love them, but nothing compares to this. Mm, even the name says it all, rolling in love. I don't want to be drenched in it though. The only thing is this is so on my face, not just on my neck, on my face, as if the acne wasn't enough. <laughs> okay, anyway, so I'm just wearing the dress that I showed you guys in the Aritzia concierge hall. I figured it's good, I might bring my coat because I have a bad way of being cold everywhere I go, even on a hot day like today. So, and I'm sure someone's been wondering, because people have asked me this before in real life, no, I'm not anemic. I know that is a symptom of anemia, but I'm not anemic. You're gonna go? Thank you, sir. You 
see this setup, you know what your girl is up to. It's actually Sunday, by the way, just in case you're thinking this is right after the restaurant. No, that was yesterday. And we actually went out after that. But since I met a whole bunch of new people, I didn't really feel it was right to pull up my camera and start vlogging it. Some situations won't call for it. But we had a really good time and it was nice to get out. And I feel like that was the start of summer for me. So let's see what this month brings. Whatever I can, I will show and bring you guys along in this Life Really Blind. I'm going to do some yoga. I told myself this month, with the exception of the last two days apparently, I'm going to do yoga every single night in addition to doing it on Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. And then I'll go to the gym every other morning. So that's what I'm gonna do. Nothing crazy, just like a flexibility flow to help me unwind and sleep right and just get me in the mood for bedtime because I, I'm not an insomniac and I barely had a hard time sleeping, but this week, hmm, hmm. Hmm, let me just sip on my sleepy lychee and get to it. But anyways, I want to thank you guys, as always, for spending another week with me. If you haven't already subscribed for more, and until next time, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love and later.